So we're here at, uh, at Arm TechCon, and uh, what are you doing here? Uh, we're demonstrating um, the future application of uh, embedded processes. Very exciting market. Uh, the lighting market is worth about $90 billion a year. $90 billion. Yes. So this is a huge opportunity for uh, embedded processes. Uh, and Arm have invited us, Photon Star, we're a British company. Um, so you're Photon Star? Yeah. The technology we're showing today is Chroma White, which is a next generation LED technology. You, you um, call it Chroma White? Chroma White. Yep, that's our trademark name for the technology. Is this an application or what is it? Um, yeah, this is a little application. We had um, Cambridge Silicon Radio assisted us with putting this particular one together, so we're using Bluetooth for this example. But we, we have various options for that in the future. So it's actually connecting with this lamp? Yep, it is. So in fact, at the moment, in this particular version, separate controller and then the light source itself. We're hoping to uh, working with some of the ARM partners to scale that down and to eventually end up with just a single lamp, single light bulb. To, uh, so right now it's this whole box here. Mm -hmm. But you wanted to make inside the... Yeah. yeah. What do you need for that? Uh, well, we need to work with some of the silicon providers here. Uh, and hopefully we're going to be scaling back, eliminating a few of the parts. By going wireless, we eliminate things like connectors, which are the bulky and expensive part of uh, the unit itself. Because it gets electricity, right? So exactly. It's kind of easy. It, it sounds like it. Everything's there, right? You just need to add the the yep. electronics. That's right. We're just working with the partners really to, to bring that down into a smaller footprint. So what happens if you click on, on the? Can you show? Okay. Yeah, so the idea is we're trying to emulate daylight, natural daylight. Yeah. That's what humans evolved to work with. Uh, we've, for the whole time we've been developing artificial light sources, yeah. we've been trying to behave like daylight. We've never quite matched the color quality or the fact that daylight changes throughout the day, and that's really good for humans. It makes us understand the seasons and the time of day. So um, by the, this particular product, um, we've set it here to work as a morning light. So if you imagine the the colour spectrum changes throughout the day. Uh, noon light, you get a more kind of a cooler white colour, uh, bluer spectrum. And sunset, as the sun dips down below towards the horizon, you get more red in the spectrum and a lot less blue. And your body actually recognises that through a, um, a newly discovered receptor in your eye called an IPRGC, which isn't about vision, but it's in your eye, feeding to a completely different part of your brain and tells it what time of day it is. There's a whole load of hormonal responses, so there's health benefits associated with that. So health benefits. But yes. is that the special light that can do that? Yes, it is. So what kind of special light is that? Um, well, the idea is the actual uh, the um, amount of blue in the in the spectrum of the light is adjusted to match daylight as it would be in the natural environment. So your body, you have a, a, a receptor called an IPRGC in your eye, and it's sensitive to, to blue light effectively. And our bodies need blue light in the daytime to tell it it's the daytime. Yeah. That suppresses our melatonin and works with other hormones to tell us to wake up, to eat, to be busy, to be active. And as the sun goes down, we need to know to rest, not to eat. Our body temperature changes. And this is a natural ebb and flow. Um, I personally am suffering from jet lag. I come from England to, to California. So my body's out of sync. My central clock needs to know through daylight what time of day it is, and then I'll feel better. At the moment, I'm, I'm out of sync, and I have jet lag. So we've all experienced jet lag. We know how bad we can feel. I don't feel perhaps as focused and productive as I might normally would be. But studies show that if you um, expose children to a dynamic light environment using this type of technology, you can improve reading speeds by 35%. You can reduce hyperactivity in a classroom environment by over 70%. You can address Alzheimer's symptoms, um, even things like uh, overeating in the evening can often be caused by the wrong type of light exposure during the day. This is the ultimate light source. It's like daylight, and that's what we evolved to function well. So it's LED technology? It is LED, but it's the next generation of LED. It's next generation. It's intelligent LED. So intelligent. It's using a microprocessor to actually do it's, it's actively correcting itself. It's giving an excellent quality of light that's very, very close to daylight. So visually it works extremely well. You won't have these issues with it looking a funny color or making your skin looking an odd color. This is just like you look in the daylight. Your clothes look 
as they would outside, your skin looks as it would outside. So in a retail environment where somebody's trying to sell um, fresh produce, that sort of thing, this is going to show that produce very well. In the home environment, your skin and everything will look a lot better. Yeah. But it's the health benefits that bring those added advantages. If you imagine um, a typical North American um, commercial building might cost about two dollars per square foot per year in energy costs, but the human cost of the employees two hundred dollars per square foot per year. If through lighting we can improve their productivity or reduce their absence rate by ten percent, well, that's bigger than energy saving. We've got the energy savings in here as well, so we have all those benefits. We have the maintenance savings, but the human performance benefits. That's where light is going in the future, and it's only possible by adding intelligence to the lighting system. So light is quite important. Absolutely. I think the lighting industry has known this for quite a long time, but there's never been a product. We've, we've had colour tunable products before, but never that actually emulate daylight in the way that this does. So how many uh, lights do you sell per year? Uh, well, first of all, quite a young company. So 2007? Yes. Uh, what is it? Launched at our, our first product, uh, we launched it 2008, in 2008, um, and uh, we, we employed, I think, about seven people in that year. Seven? Yes. Now we make everything in the UK, and we employ about 150 people. 150 have, in the UK? Yeah, we have four manufacturing units there. How many lights did you, sorry, did you answer, or how many Yeah, well, this or? is a new light source, so, um, you know, we're just starting, kind of just past the prototyping stage of this. The history of this product has been in the film and television industry, where they've obviously been able to accept a higher price for it. The same technology is applied, but now we're bringing the price down so it will be sensible for using normal uh, architectural applications. So what are you showing here? This okay, so to us, this is what it's about, the evolution of light. We started with the sun, daylight to be, to be honest. Um, I can pause it on that one if you want. So daylight um, is dynamic, and our eye has evolved to see in daylight how colours are rendered with daylight. Then we've spent a long time trying to extend our natural day and add some control to light. But it's been dangerous, things like candles and uh, um, oil lamps, that sort of thing. Very, very dangerous. We then developed incandescent lamps, which brought an element of safety. We had the crisis, which meant we had an energy challenge. So we've addressed that. And then we had LEDs, which were really a great solution uh, to offering an energy efficient uh, solution to lighting. But never has lighting truly emulated daylight and given us those health benefits and um, the added financial benefits of improving human performance um, and reducing error rates that time. And improving your health. Absolutely. So we are yet to discover the full health benefits, but what we do know is that people feel better when they're exposed to daylight. We've, we've now got a situation where most, most countries, most states have banned smoking inside buildings, and yet the smokers are feeling better because they're going outside in daylight for their cigarette break. So we're trying to bring daylight into the building. And uh, so it, you, you wouldn't necessarily have to push the buttons, right? It would be intelligent and follow the cycles and you could adjust it if you want, but yeah. you don't have to. That's the idea. So yeah. with a real-time clock within the system, the, the lighting will automatically deliver the daylight emulation colors throughout the day. Now, what we don't want is emulating a cloudy day in Stockholm in the winter. That really wouldn't give us those health benefits. We'd be looking at the Mediterranean or a Californian day. That's actually going to make us feel better. Um, and then we can override it and get more creative, put some different colours, that sort of thing in there. So you'd use your uh, smartphone or tablet device to interact with it. But we always need a switch because my granny doesn't have an iPhone and wouldn't know how to use one. So we have to have that switch in the system somewhere and then the system just defaults to a natural, healthy, credible electrical light. So price could be $20 per light? What can it be? What could it be? Uh, I, well, that's uh, difficult to say. It's difficult to say today. Yes. But uh, let's hope it's affordable enough so everybody can buy it everywhere. Let's see. Okay.